what a great day it is to talk about the Breeders' Cup and all the ways that we have found in Lexington to celebrate. Yes, Lexington style. We've got everything from a thriller parade to a thrilling stretch run down the track at Keeneland. The last week of October is packed with music, racing, art, food, and fun. I'm joined today by those who have been working on this celebration for months. Craig Fravel, President and CEO of the Breeders' Cup. Kip Cornett, one of the organizers of the Kentucky One Health Breeders' Cup Festival. Amber Llewellyn from Parks, who organizes the Thriller Parade. And Amber has brought with her some special guests today. Jim Pendergast, Chairman of Keep Lexington Beautiful and Eric Frankel, Executive Director of Bluegrass Airport. And also here today with me are council members Fred Brown, Amanda Mays Bledsoe, Russ Hensley, Peggy Henson, Bill Farmer, and James Brown. And our Commonwealth's Attorney Ray Larson is here, PVA, David O'Neill, and Mary Quinn Raymer, who is president of Visit Lex. Okay, it's really my great honor today and privilege to start our event this morning with Craig Fravel. Craig is president and CEO of the Breeders' Cup, and Craig, we are so glad that you are here, that the Breeders' Cup is here in Lexington, and we're looking forward to the races. We know there is no better setting than Keeneland. Craig, thank you, sir. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Well, thank you so much, Mr. Mayor. You know, when we were starting to talk with our board of directors about where we wanted to take the Breeders' Cup in 2015. Uh, I don't think Lexington was actually the very first choice because there were a lot of questions. But if you're the kind of person, and if you're the kind of person that takes no for an answer, I think we might have gone somewhere else because there were certainly challenges. There's questions about traffic, and there's questions about parking, and there's questions about the size of the facility and the size of the city. But in the end of the day, all those questions are being answered because uh, no city that in the history of the Breeders' Cup has ever stepped up in the way that Lexington has. And uh, Mayor Gray has been a great leader on this uh, from the very beginning, encouraging us to come here, uh, finding ways to institute beautification projects for the city, spending well over a half a million dollars in, in improvement projects around town so that visitors that come here from all over the world will be impressed not only by the beauty of this place, but by the hospitality of the people. I also have to acknowledge Kip Cornett and the Kentucky One Health Breeders' Cup Festival Organizing Committee. They've done an amazing job. Uh, we've had organizing committees before, but they've never done the yeoman's work that this one has, raising over $700,000 in sponsorship money, uh, putting on a week-long series of events that is going to start with the Thriller Parade and, and a variety of other things. Um, hopefully, there'll be more beautiful here people here later in the week after the Thriller Parade, but um, uh, we're certainly looking forward to everything. And I, mainly, I want to thank the people of Lexington, the state of Kentucky, um, the welcome mat has been rolled out, and uh, as Kip always says, we hope it's not just welcome, but welcome back, because we'd love to bring the Breeders' Cup back here again someday. Thank you. Craig, Craig, thank you, thank you so much. Um, you know, I want to I want to make a, a special acknowledgement to Craig mentioned the the funds that the city has uh, has uh, committed to beautification. And we've got several council members up here that have already, already recognized them, but I want to make a special point to recognize council member Bill Farmer and council member Peggy Henson, who have both been involved and active in our quarters commission and have been real advocates for this work. Thank you all. Yes. And uh, next is Kip Cornett. Uh, Kip is Kip and Kentucky One Health have put together quite a festival. Kip, I want to thank you for all your work, uh, your leadership on this. You have really planned something special for everyone. Um, thanks, Mayor. Um, you know, it, it seems like it wasn't that long ago that we unfurled that big banner uh, across the street on, on the building uh, that announced these dates. And, uh, on behalf of the festival host committee, uh, which is f over 40 hardworking individuals, um, on behalf of folks like Mr. Redman here and, and cooperation with the local hospitality community and, and kind of all across the city, I, I couldn't be more excited about what we've been able to create 
uh, to this point. Um, like the, the mayor said, we've raised a significant amount of money to make sure that programming for the most part is free, which is always exciting. Uh, we do have ticketed events, but you know, probably 80% of what we're doing is free. And when somebody asked me, they said, you know, how can you describe this? And I said, well, you know, it's kind of a cliche, but you hear something, you know, we've done everything from A to Z. We have, we've got everything from art to zombies. So there's not too many events that can claim that, but I think we've got a really special week uh, prepared for everybody. But uh, as a lot of my friends in the audience know, I, I am a gambler. So a real quick gambling analogy, it's not how you run the race. It's how you finish because you can lead until, you know, 10 feet from the wire and get nipped. To this point, I think the city's partnership, our corporate community, everybody have been fabulous. But at the end of the day, it's how we finish. And I would ask the citizens and the folks that make up the downtown area to make sure we finish strong so we can say welcome back. Thank you all very much. Really appreciate all that you're doing, Kip. Thank you so much. Um, Amber Llewellyn from our Parks Department does a great job, as all of y'all know, with anything that she does. And she is here to talk about the Thriller Parade. We are expecting some 1,500 of Amber's undead friends along with her. Amber? Thank you, Mayor. Thriller is a really special event for us at Parks and for the city of Lexington, so we are very, very honored to have been asked to be a part of this, um, the Breeders' Cup Festival. We are thrilled to kick the Breeders' Cup Festival off with this annual event. Um, we have a very loyal fan base among locals for this event, and we're looking forward to sharing this wonderful experience and phenomenon with race visitors and people coming from out of town. <laughs> Thriller is the perfect party for a great week of festivities going a great week of festivities, and, and it will showcase the creativity, as you can see here, and community spirit that Lexington has to offer. <laughs> With the help of Mecca Live Studio, dancers started rehearsing last week, and we still have um, space available for people that want to participate. We have um, rehearsals weekly, so we have all the information for people that would want to be in the Thriller Parade or the Halloween Parade. You could be a character or have a float. All of that is on our website at LexingtonKY.gov. So we look forward to being a part of this great event and starting off the week for the Breeders' Cup. Thank you. <laughs> Well, I'd say I know where those uh, camera shots are going to go now. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Yep. All right. Next, putting our best foot forward. We have cleaned up and fixed up and planted up thousands of trees and flowers and bushes and grasses like those you see here to welcome visitors. Volunteers from America in Bloom and Keep Lexington Beautiful, donations from local businesses and support from the city have made this possible. Thanks to all of our volunteers, our sponsors, and our employees. One of those volunteers is Jim Pendergast, chairman of the Keep Lexington Beautiful Commission. Jim, thank you, sir. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Good morning. Uh, we are really excited to uh, talk about cleanup for Breeders' Cup this morning. In case you aren't familiar with Keep Lexington Beautiful, we're an affiliate of Keep America Beautiful. It was formed here in Lexington in 2010. And uh, we're, while we're part of the city, we're not funded by the city. So we rely on grants, donations from uh, public and private entities, uh, a great group of volunteers and 14 commissioners who care a lot about keeping Lexington beautiful. Uh, KLB was enlisted by Susan Pluger of the Division of Environmental Services to help uh, create this initiative called Green Up for Breeders' Cup. And the thought was that we would find public partners to assist us with creating landscape sites at the gateways into Lexington prior to Breeders' Cup. What we wanted to do is provide an impression for our visitors when they come into town. The idea was also that these would be permanent sites that would benefit Lexington for years to come. Uh, the major sites that, that we're working on include Newtown Pike at the Interstate, uh, Newtown Pike at Main Street, Oliver Lewis Way at High Street, and Versailles Road 
Man of War intersection near the airport. KLB has received uh, numerous and generous donations for the support of this project, and those sponsors are recognized on the board over here to the right. If uh, there are anybody from those companies here, I'd like for them to stand so we could recognize them. Well, they've Thank, thank you very much. They've done their part uh, for this project. Um, in addition, K, uh, KLB also applied for and received a $20,000 grant from Lowe's for community improvement, and we have used that. It's been applied to this project, and it's also been applied to numerous cleanups around Lexington during the month of September, so we appreciate that from Lowe's. Uh, Republic Services uh, got this started off the right way for us. We had a generous donation from them early in the year that allowed us to start the fundraising process and get it kicked off. Uh, so a lot of thanks to, to Republic Services. I'd also like to recognize as well Connie Miller and Group CJ. They got our fundraising campaign kicked off and did a great job getting that organized and that was, that was primarily what made this successful. Susan Pluger and the Department of Environmental Services have done the planning and the planning, they've done a great job. And I'd also like to thank all of the KLB commissioners that participated in this. I hope you enjoy the look of the new Lexington gateways, and I'm sure our visitors will. Thank you. Jim, thank you. Thank you, sir. Uh, Jim mentioned Susan Pluger, who is here. Susan, I know you don't, you're very modest about these things, but will you stand up? She's sitting right there beside David Holmes. She did it's done a great job. And Kathy, and Kathy, you should stand up too. You, all of the plants around our downtown. Kathy, thank you. Uh, finally, Eric Frankel from the airport. As visitors step off the plane, they will step into the Breeders' Cup celebration, thanks to Eric and his team. And I want to mention that one of the special touches at the airport came from one of our citizens. And his name is Stan. I don't know Stan's last name. And the reason I don't know Stan's last name is he called in on the Jack Patty show one morning, and he had this idea. And I'm going to let Eric give you the details, but our thanks go out to Stan. And I hope if Stan hears this, hears about this, he will call me and tell me his last name. <laughs> I want to be able to fully give him appreciation. Eric, thanks, bud. Thank you, Mayor, and uh, thanks for having us down for this event to, this afternoon or this morning. Uh, we know that the airport's going to play a very important role in the success of this event, and we definitely want to do our part. And in addition to that, obviously, given the mayor's leadership on, on presenting our best, our community in the best possible way, uh, the airport's going to do a few special things. And so many of you may not be out at the airport during this event, so we wanted to tell you a little bit about what we're doing so you know how we're uh, um, going to be welcoming our guests. So during this time, the week before and, and, and the day after, uh, we're going to have bluegrass bands playing throughout the terminal intermittently. Um, Bourbon balls, we're going to be handing out bourbon balls to our guests as they flow through the terminal. We are, uh, all of our staff, including myself, are going to be dressed in a, a purple shirt so that we can welcome everybody, make sure they can get throughout not only the airport but through the, through the community and answer any questions they might have. Um, and of course, um, we are going to have so many things inside the terminal itself in terms of our gift shop and the merchandise that, are, that people will be able to buy, both coming in and, and leaving town. And finally, um, we, as the mayor sort of mentioned, uh, we got a great request through the mayor's office, uh, a really interesting um, different uh, perspective, I guess, when you come to the airport. You're all familiar if you've, tr if you've traveled, you come to the airport, when you're picking up your bag, you go to the baggage belt, and typically there's this big alarm that tells you to basically get off the baggage belt because your bags are coming. Um, we've replaced that alarm with something new and uh, innovative for this event that we're going to be unveiling, and uh, with that, we'll, we'll play it. Thank you. 